distinguished colleagues, the crisis of COVID-19 is also a crisis of human rights. The pandemic has made more acute violence against women, exacerbated stigmatization of migrants, Afro-descendants, ethnic minorities, LGBTIQ plus persons, senior citizens, persons with disabilities, and it has led to a huge impact on indigenous peoples. We have the challenge before us of building a new beginning for more fair, inclusive, and equal societies. Prevention and early warning of situations that could lead to massive violations of human rights or early warnings of crimes against humanity or genocides should be one of the major efforts of the United Nations. Argentina is firmly committed to advancing towards universalization of the International Convention for the Protection of All Persons Against Forced Disappearances, which is a crucial instrument to fight impunity. Currently, we are working, along with France, on a third campaign of universalization of the Convention so that more states will ratify it with a view to achieving 100 ratifications by the year 2025. Argentina also assumes with responsibility historical demands in terms of the women's movement and diversity. This is a commitment that's reflected nationally and its maximum expression is the creation of the Ministry of Women, Gender and Diversity. With the passing of the law of legalizing abortion, the Argentine state has taken on the responsibility of legislating and protecting with public policies the health and life of women and persons with other identities, gender-based identities, with the capacity to gestate. Also, we have passed a law for attention and integrated care of health care during pregnancy and early childhood which broadens the benefits and rights and guarantees attention for health care for women at every stage of pregnancy and for boys and girls in the first years of their lives.